Since the age of 10, the life of Sawyer Horning Shear has revolved around one thing, the sport of hockey. Shot from the point and in, Sawyer Horning Shear. The camaraderie, the relationships you get to build is unlike anything I've ever done. But at the beginning of just his second season on the ice, the future of pursuing the sport he loved was already in doubt. Sawyer had made a select team that year for the first year, and we just kind of thought, oh, he's just getting in really good shape, he's looking trim, he's looking good. And then I remember one night that he didn't have his shirt on, and it was like, that's not right, that does not look right. And so we figured out through a Google search, honestly, what was going on. He was supposed to go to a hockey tournament the next day in Sioux City, and that Saturday morning, we instead went to emergency room at St. Elizabeth's, and then we ended up at Children's Hospital. My life is kind of bookended with type 1 diabetes. Sawyer is on the good end, and my aunt is on the bad end. The first eight years of my life was basically watching her die of type 1. And it was a terrible, miserable death of a girl from rural Nebraska that had no that knew what type 1 was. Frankly, there was those middle years of my life I didn't want to think about it because I didn't have a kid with type 1 diabetes, but then it came back and then here I am at the emergency room not knowing all of this that has advanced and it's all because of JDRF. All of these kids that are living with this can live a life that's just like any other kid. Research and technology have given kids like Sawyer the opportunity to pursue and participate in their childhood passions instead of sitting them out. When I was diagnosed in 2011, I was poking my finger 10, 15 times a game day, doing shots of insulin 10 times a day, like just to keep me level on game days. But now I don't have to test ever because I got the Dexcom G6 with like 10 clicks of a button. I can be dosed and on my way. I've got real-time numbers. I have everything on me and I just have a phone. That's all I need. The advancements we've had has just been incredible and it's because of all the money everybody's donated. It's quite amazing to see how quickly the dollars that have been invested through JDRF and fundraising have made a difference that I can see in Sawyer's life and he has participated in studies. He's always on the front of the technology advances but it's just remarkable what's happened in that period of time, how that's improved the quality of life for him. This is just something he lives with, and type 1 diabetes doesn't really like determine who he is. It's part of what he is, but that's not who Sawyer is. As Sawyer hangs up his skates and heads off to college in the fall, his ability to live a normal life with type 1 turns his family's focus towards a cure. A cure would mean that we don't have this feeling in the back of our heads all the time about what if. The level of stress that you have for this disease is always there. Everything that we're doing here is so people can live more normal lives and eventually not have any type one at all. A cure is very much in sight. It's amazing, not just over what would have been my aunt's lifetime, but over Sawyer's period of diagnosis, it's just been incredible. And it's all because of JDRF. The advocacy they do, how they lobby Congress to support this, the money they put back into research, how efficiently they operate, it's quite amazing. And that's why I feel so hopeful that someday this won't be something that my kids and grandkids and other people's kids and grandkids have to deal with because there is a cure. It's important just because I look at all the genetics in my family and I think about Sora's children who have a higher possibility of getting diabetes. So I think about if there's a cure now, that means Sawyer's children or my children or Seneca's children who have that higher possibility of getting diabetes, they won't have to live with that difficulty. And I think about Sawyer and how he has all these dreams to become like this businessman and have this family. I want him to be able to live that without the constraints of type 1 diabetes. Mm -hmm.